all right doll so i finally did it because i wanted to know what it was like so i had micro needling done a few days ago and i broke out insanely like breaking out insanely if you can see that i am breaking out on my neck so yes if you're acne prone and you do microneedling you will break out so i've had to ice i'm all made up now because i'm going to dinner with my husband i was like i am not going to cancel dinner because i look terrible i'm also swollen on my cheeks yesterday i looked like a chipmunk like because these needles were so deep into the skin so um day, day two you are completely swollen so it's getting better now but I wanted to, yeah, so I wanted to share my experience and I am still swollen. So I did it for, um, just for anti-aging benefits, not for acne scarring, none of that because I don't have any, uh, but basically just for anti-aging and tightening of the skin. Um, and um, yeah, so they did go under my eyes as well. You can tell under my eyes are swollen. So yeah, and it was painful as hell will i do it again not my dolls i had to do a follow-up video because i received <laughs> hundreds of dms yesterday um after my post about the micro needling so i wanted to show you guys my skin without makeup so the breakout is real i'm breaking out all here i'm still breaking out on my neck i started to break out on my forehead you can see I'm breaking out here, uh, scars here, breaking out, breaking out here. So yeah, my skin is pretty inflamed. So what am I doing to combat this? So definitely I'm wearing sunscreen during the daytime because my skin is so irritated and I wanna make sure that I don't get um, post, um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation so I'm doing that and then I started to do a healing routine so twice a day I am doing drenching and daily C serum and um, today I started to wear the medicated moisturizer from acne Skin skincare and um, yeah that's all I'm gonna do and then I'm going to right now I just got home and I'm going to spot treat um, with um, the calming mask and then what else am I doing oh I'm using the really C toner as well um, I'm doing that in the day and then at night I do the soothing toner so we'll see how it goes hopefully <laughs> by the weekend I will look decent so you know i'm not worried i expected this because you've heard it from me um if you're acne prone and you do micro needling there is a 99 percent chance that you may break out so yeah, i know it's gonna get better i know it's gonna get better my feet my skin feels very greedy right now because of all the tiny holes that they just you know micro needling is just needles going into the skin so my skin doesn't feel smooth, but I know that um, probably in about two weeks, it's gonna feel really, really good. All right, you guys, I wanted to share the journey. Bye. Hi dolls, I am stopping by to give you guys a quick update on my skin. As you all know, I had microneedling about two weeks ago and broke out severely. And what I did, um, the acne is now all clear, thank God. So. I was diligent with using my acne cream and the calming acne mask saved my life and I want to give you guys an update. So as you can see, I'm left with some scars, right? I'm left with some scars, but I'm not worried because I'm working on fading them right now. And what I've been doing to do that in the morning, I'm using purifying serum. If you have brightening pads, you can use that as well. The daily C, and I'm still using medicated moisturizer to still um, to help um, calm down inflammation and so that any inflammation is completely gone. Um, the medicated moisturizer, I don't. I don't talk about it often, but 
it is a holy grail if you've had any type of um, any type of um, irritation due to like a chemical pill, microneedling, laser, or um, you're just reacting to something and you don't know what it is, the medicated moisturizer will save lives, okay? Um, so anyway, let's get into my routine.